things going on. But, uh, you know, the, uh, a low far antenna that goes global is, is, is pretty uncool, you know. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It's the time we live in, you know. And, and the only way these scientists and uh, physicists get, you know, funded is through the money. You know, but doing that, they, they have to sign all these confidential confidentiality agreements and stuff, and, and I, I won't have none of that, you know, you know, because I'm a pastor first, you know, and and I didn't get involved, and I took hits, you know, I took money hits on that too, because I would not be a part of an incorporated body, forget it, that's a piece of paper that, that they gave life, forget it, I, I don't want nothing to do it, it's an idol, so, you know, I've taken hits, money hits across the board, you know, on, on a lot of areas. But the bottom line is we all stand before God, you know. I have to live with myself, you know. The, the money comes and goes. It's like after Germany fell, you know. The, 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 one of my uncles was picking up million-dollar marks. You know, the, the money was worthless. They, they used it for toilet paper, you know. Toilet sure. paper is in sorts of fly, you know. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it, 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 it's that kind of thing, you know. Is there going to be uh, climate migration? Yeah, you know, you look at Japan right now. At high tide, 11 of their cities are getting flooded. Uh, it's coming in three feet high into these cities and, and going to the, to the level of the house and stuff. Everyone knows when high tide comes in twice a day, man, they all start booking away from the coast and stuff. And now water is radioactive. You know, and, and you know they really got to do something with their citizens and and move them out of that stuff. You know, uh, Tom Coe just released that. Oh yeah, you know the uh, uh, reactor number one's a full meltdown. Duh. You know, I knew that freaking a month ago. You know, I, this is common sense. Uh, you know, and then and then they slowly released that out. I, I guess today or yesterday. But, you know, this is, this is how, you know, they, they think they, well, we don't want to cause a panic. Okay. I understand that. But the science is there. You know, you've got Professor Biagi over there in Italy who had to take a bank loan. He, he couldn't get funding to, to come up with his stuff to actually identify an area of high stress from the air. Okay. So me, I can do it just off the numbers and, and you know, with my brain. You know, where I could give a warning way out in advance, but you know, he he actually has a technology that can identify within 10 days. Uh, also, uh, uh, a Russian scientist confirmed this also his findings. So they they saw the same patterns. You know, I saw this gal put up a video. You know, she goes uh, predicted this earthquake. You know, and, and she was seeing a, a signature. Okay, and, and she thought it was a harp signature. And it wasn't. This is an Earth signature. Okay, you can separate uh, uh, a man-made quake because they're bending light. You know, you, uh, you know, it's nice if you have photos before the area, uh, you know, happens. So, cause yeah, we've actually... seen the uh, the lights uh, with the specifically the tsunami uh, a couple years ago now, many years ago now. How long has was the major tsunami? It's been what? Six, seven years now, um, and now of course we we see the same thing happening before the events in uh, Chile and in Haiti, uh, seeing these lights, and, and that's why we have reason to believe that it's harp. And I'm not uh, on the harpy circuit like the, a lot of people are right away. I don't immediately say harp, 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 because I think that's very misleading. And we'll talk about that some more in our final segment and uh, continue to go into earth changes with Scott from the Believers Underground. This is the Bob Tuscan Show. Thank you all very much for listening to the Bob Tuscan Show. Let's finish things off with Scott from the Believers Underground. Scott, in the final moments of the show, what are we going to talk about? Well, I, I would like to talk about, you know, the, the bum rap that, you know, our servicemen get, uh, the police officers and everything else. 
you know, they're they're getting wrapped up into this banking nonsense that's that's dragging them down, man, and it's it's making them hard. And and man, there's there's only like ten laws, really. Okay, you know, kill, steal, and stuff like that. All the rest are acts and statutes. They're not laws. They're garbage, and they only serve in corporation. And as they steal more and more and more money for nothing, okay, as we give $4 billion a day to interest over to the World Bank from all their stupid cons that they've been pulling since. They haven't even paid off the SNL con from the 70s yet. You know, that, that won't be paid off till 2013. But it's maxing these people out, man, and it's really dragging them out, man. They're, they're really getting bummed out and stuff. And, and, and I, I just want to tell you, man, hey, you know, you guys, you know, I love you. And, and you know, hey, it, it sucks that they're turning you into revenue agents. And, and, and I hope you stand by with us, you know, as, yep. as these natural events happen. Because let, they're going to happen. Let me second you know, that notion. We need to stop alienating them. They are sick of the New World Order. A great show, Scott, was the one we did this week with Mark Passio on the police and military occult mockery that takes place. If you missed it, please go to our archives and check it out. Police and military are victims of the changes. They're used as pawns and useless eaters, and we love you. Stop feeding into the hands of the elite that supposedly rule you. Yeah, you know, hey, there, you, everybody, it's all hands on deck. You know, you, you got to get passed through all the, the things that are going on because everybody's going to be pushed into service with these natural disasters because they're coming. It's like this, the, the record melt that's coming off of Canada that's also affecting the Mississippi, you know, as they dumped nuclear waste into the Mississippi River before they blew the banks on it. But you know where all this water is going to go. It's going to end up going into the Gulf. And the Gulf is, is it's sinking. You know, so you're going to see more oil rigs and platforms go down. You, we had a platform go down on 412 right after the Japan quake because, you know, these major events are shaking up the aquifers and, and causing the underground piping systems to get messed up too. So this water, as it runs down through there, you know, it's, and that, you know, gets back over to Costa Rica and, and those areas right there. The Earth's going to, she's, she's got to make herself a new new passageway to connect these oceans. So that area is highly unstable. And, and I pray to God that, you know, people come to their senses and start evacuating these more geofragile zones, uh, you know, because it's, it's not good. You know, I, I talked in a video today on, on uh, California, especially because all the dead wildlife coming up. You know, you, you're getting a static discharge. And, and since when it affects only certain fishes, okay, it's like the Arkansas River when they had the dead fish come up. Okay, you know, I, I believe that was from either CO2 liquid gas or methane gas that got released and pulled at the bottom of the lake because those fishes were bottom feeders. Those were the ones that were, were harmed, okay, not not the fresh fish that were above it. And then you go over here to the coast, and then you see certain type of fishes. Now, if it was a toxin or, say, the, the oxygen was sucked out of the area, you would have every single different breed of fish come up dead, and you're not seeing that. So either frequencies are harming the fish or... or you know, it, there's there's so many combinations of factors that that can harm this wildlife because that's what it is. You, you got to remember, you know, you, you can take all the water off the planet, and this planet's all land. You know, it, just because you know, like 80% of this land is covered in water, okay, it, it, there's wildlife in it. Uh, you know, I was going to talk about the the Dragon Triangle. Uh, if anyone's never heard of it, it's, it's off the coast of Japan going towards the Philippines. It, it, it's the same as the same type as Ber the Bermuda Triangle because you've got, a, a, like you have the North and South Pole, well, you've got a, an East and West a magnetic pole, and, and those are the two triangle areas. And, and you have to look at the whole thing. 
you know, this, this area has a high uh, level of ships that would lose their buoyancy and get sucked down here. And I did a video on, on that effect. You know, and, and then they would find the boat later on and they had the captain just holding the wheel, but the whole crew would be gone and all the containers and everything would be gone. You know, basically that ship was just pulled under because of the magnetic field disruption and, and it just cleared the decks and then they came back up. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why you see the, the strange anomalies with, with the, the compasses in those areas. So, you know, there's, you know I, I haven't really started talking about that, but I'm going to start talking about it more because we're having so much water being released. I, I can see those areas really having more disturbances. So, you know, these are all factors, okay, all factors. And, and if those areas start to spread and widen, you'll see more and more ships going down. You know, so, and I don't want people to die. You know, and you'll see airplanes drift in those areas. It's kind of like that Spain quake that happened the other day. The thing that I noted is it was at zero, zero depth. So was it a sky quake from the, the magnetic field slapping over, which is NASA fact, uh, or, or was it the, the ground just splitting from from it widening and, and tearing. So, you know, I, but it had a P and S signature. So, you know, these are the things that, that I'm looking at as well, you know, because you, you got a problem with magnetic field. It, it's a problem, it's, it's a factor. But you have, you know, people just look at the North and South Pole and they, they think everything involved in it is, is, is yeah. you know, that's the reason why, but it's not. You have these two triangles. These areas are major players. You know, that's why that uh, over there on the Florida runway, they had to remake a new runway because the, yeah, the magnetic right. field shifted 10 degrees. Interesting. Okay, and, and then you have the Bermuda uh, Triangle the, the Bermuda out there. Bermuda Triangle, so. right. All right, Scott. Well, listen, I, I wish we had more time because, as always, you have a wealth of information to provide for us. But uh, that about does it for the show tonight. Thanks so much. Cool. Everyone have a great weekend. I love you very much. And information shock resistance. Have a plan. That's exactly right, Scott. That's what we're talking about on the Bob Tuscan Show. We'll be back next week with more.